Hey, how are you guys doing today? I hope kicking some butt and doing amazing overall. So right off the bat, I'm going to let you know um, today is going to be wild. I woke up way early this morning. I knew Mojo was super high when we were playing Fallout 76 earlier. At this point, um, I just assumed that we're about to have a crazy good day. And so I'm excited about that. Trying to get chat up real quick. Um, we're going to have swirlies. Lots of swirlies. Global stuff going on. There will be swirlies and globals. Definitively, I'm keeping them separate because some of them are just going to be like, a, hey, they give us the swirly because what we're making. And some of them are going to be legitimate globals. So to start with, I want to thank everybody that's been dropping and selling stuff to complete our order. Um, obviously, I have an order in at 4,000 or 45,000% markup or some crap. I don't know. A bunch of markup. It basically puts each one being bought at 9 ped per thing, as you can see by the people that have already been contributing. Um, this is how we do make the Ospens. Right off the bat, I'm going to de-armor us. Boom. Go back, equip that. I'm going to make these Ospens. I'm going to let you know... Uh, uh, the person that has the avatar, Your Mad Wife, on here on Twitch, um, they invoked one of these Ospens already, right? The thing is, though, uh, we didn't have one of sufficient quality rating, and so I want to get that taken care of. It looks like I have 23 basic targeting chips all together. I'm going to need to make some Ospen filters. I might want to just buy this. I'm about to go mine a lot of this crap, guys. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Let's do buy this. By the way, if... Oh, that's Penelope right there, guys. Boom. Awesome. They're, they're, they usually have a stream, too. I don't know if they're streaming right this second. Stay tuned to this channel, guys. Don't, don't be switching out on me. Um... I'm going to make it where we can do a, a little bit of this. Osprey filters, I think, is all I need left, right? Do, 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 do it. Yeah, Osprey filters. Okay. I'm going to bust out some of these real quick. Let's go like that. Now, if more people go and sell, um, of course, I'll just make more later on, just so you know. I just got to get these cleared out of the way. I can't clear them all the way out of the way. Because if I do, I won't know what to restock, you guys. You see what I'm saying? It'll become an issue. Okay. I have to actually go back to Calypso and restock, too. So, right off the bat, we're going to do just a very minor amount of crafting. Just enough to get what we need done. And then um, it's going to be just a bunch of probably killing a lot of robots. Um, I feel we're going to do very well. Like spectacular. That's what I'm going to say about it. This is still... A blueprint I'm working up so it's not 100% it's only 26.6 rating obviously it's not mind-boggling my LRS one rating is see I'm gonna have to make more up I might as well just buy some from somebody that's on planet nobody huh guys this is one of the things that commonly occurs when you're on a, a planet and you're making stuff Let's see if wool's for sale on this planet. 40. 40 is going to give us 10 more tries, which is not really going to work for me right now. So we're going to go to Calypso with the intergalactic search. Oh, nope, we need wool. And we want to order enough to make it worth it. Luckily, we're going to do other things on this planet. 
So let's see. I don't want to get out of hand with ordering. We'll. We're about to spend six ped to have it sent to us, no matter what. But in all honesty, probably about this much is enough for what we're doing. Whoa, we need wool, wool. You know what? I hate to pay double, but I don't want to buy extra. And we're going to end up with a bunch of wool in a second, guys. I'm expressing this to me. I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, that was a ridiculous markup. It was. I'm not going to pretend it wasn't. But sometimes you're like, hey, it'd be really nice to get what we want done here. Let's also take care of getting the wool from this planet, too. Okay. That's going to give us much more efficient outcome right here. Hope y'all are doing amazing, by the way. I'm going to get a bunch of wool later on when we go hunting, by the way. When we pop a bunch of the big panelians and stuff like that. Penelope's here in the fancy, fancy armor. I'm going to just let you know, pimped out here, right? Yeah, that's fancy. I'm not even going to pretend. Elevated hunter, that's pretty high level too, I'm pretty sure. I don't know exactly what level that is, but Frank hands down higher than me. Just going to let you know. Don't worry, the swirly, swirly stuff is coming up, guys. Now, technically, it's going to count it maybe as an HOF, maybe as a global. I can't remember which one. Um, obviously, we don't fail a lot at all, and the overall recovery is reasonable on this other stuff, too. So, psh. This looks like we have way more stuff. Okay, so this is going to be a bunch of in a row. Everybody be prepared. This is also going to refill our inventory for our store. Give me some extras to throw in the auction house and stuff like that. And give me one really pimp one for, like, you know, a bunch of them, actually. We'll have a few. The markup on these weapons is absolutely impressive, by the way. Just so you guys know. Okay. That part's fun. Now we're ready. I'm going to put this stuff in here because we're not going to need it the rest of the day. At this point, because I'm about to make a weapon, I always consume one of these. If we were doing a giant run of weapons, it'd even be a bigger deal. We're about to go hunting immediately after. We have the ability to do 18 clicky clicks, even though we have 23, so I'm going to have to Obviously, get more materials ready, get set to ready. Well, you know what? I'm going to move this like this so you guys could fully appreciate the amount of global ink. Ah, you know what? Right here is probably best. Ready. One, two, three. Spirals are about to occur, just so you guys know. Boom. Let's see what that counts like. Boom, boom. Oh, it's Hall of Fames. We're HOFing. Like, boom. Boom. I all told you guys this was going to get crazy. Don't worry. It's still going to happen. Okay, ready? Boom. Now, if the rest of you guys want to fill up that order, I'd appreciate it too, by the way. I'm sure I'm going to have a good one for you, mo uh, your mod mad uh, wife 
Boom. I know, that's what you guys are loving, right? I think everybody loves those. These are all HOFs, by the way. Hey, Baruch, how you doing? Now, I told you guys I love freaking making this gun, right? I'm a little bit good at this gun. A little bit. I'm going to have to get more materials. By oh, we're going to just do this the whole time, man. Okay, I'm going to click it again. I almost think we should make a couple of the other things, but instead I'm going to just kill it, click this through. Boom. Okay, so we have plenty of auspens. I have nine more clicky clicks left. Um, we still have an order. Obviously, we have a stack of these things, right? These things really do usually sell at this zone where they're, they're selling it. Um, obviously, one of these is reserved for your mom's or your mad wife. That's, that's going to happen. Outside of that, I hope you guys are doing awesome. So let's see what we have here. Here's our order. I don't know where it is. Well, I have an order. I need 14 more of these things. And so, and of course I'll run them too if we can get all 14 of the, the remaining orders in. I'm going to see which one was the highest. Obviously, this one up here is my personal. Let's see, this one we already had, and it was not that good. It was one of the reasons why I was making it. It's a, that's 183%. So that's the over 120 that we look for. That's 189%. That's the highest right now. That's 190-something percent. Or... Tier rating that see that that'll go to the auction house. That will I don't know me I don't know what I'll do with that 177 that goes over there. That'll go to the auction house. See now we have plenty for. See, now I'll go to the auction house. 192. What was this one? 193. Ooh. Still good. Okay. Guys, we have plenty of super good ones for channel point rewards. And I have plenty for throwing in the auction house for recovering some some uh, pet and stuff. Super, super good deal. Okay, now let's focus on what we're supposed to be doing today. Um, at this point, um, I'm going to check and see who's on. I need to put this stuff back in here because we didn't actually use all of it. So, you know. Okay. Okay, well, they might get on later on. And I have that one gun for your mom or your mad wife. That's good. So now we're going to go global. It's okay. I really love those things. Where are just the normal loot pills? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Hey, your mad wife, I have got you a really good one. Legit, I made sure. Don't worry, I have got you covered. It'll be pimping. It's at a, here I'll show you it. I'm going to, of course, repair it. I'm not, not, it, it won't be in the state. It's 193 tier rating, so it should tier fast as crap through there. Just so you guys know. 
Okay, so first of all, I got to figure out where I am. I didn't know I was right here. There are ones over there that I would normally hunt. It looks like they're really killing rooted mechs right and left. You know what? I know where this is happening. Okay. I I I could be wrong where I think that they're doing uh, rooted mechs and stuff like that, you guys. We'll find out. But this looks like they're popping them. Oh, we'll go like this, too. So, normally, if I were going to be killing Root X. Oop. I'm, I'm a little off in my teleportation. Oh, I'm a lot off, guys. That is not the mob, and that's an angry mob. Let's jump in this. Lift off real quick. Slightly off. I meant to appear right here. I'm going to just be honest. That was a little stressful. Now, honestly, I'm not sure. Is this the... Oh, they are. Yep, see. Okay. Let's land. I'm glad that they're killing this guy. That sounds like Bella and them going to work on this thing, to be honest, you guys. I would say. Okay. I don't know this 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 individual necessarily. Well, I'm going to just be honest. This is not who I thought was going to be hitting this. Um, I'm going to take this thing out. This thing's getting in the way. Yeah, that shocks me a little bit. Not who I thought was over here killing him. I don't know who technically myself. It's okay. This thing has a huge amount of life in it, though. But I don't remember it hitting super hard. I mean, I think it's hard enough that I have to definitely heal immediately. But not like crazy, you know what I'm saying? We'll only kill a couple of these. If it hits me, though, I do know that it's like a, hey, oh, crap, that was serious. Let's make sure. Let's see. If it sends me straight to the grave, guys, don't be shocked either, because it's 79th level. I'm just trying to do my fair share of taking some of the hits, so it's not just me being, like, uh, just throwing some damage. I don't know this guy's armor, either. Maybe he's... Super. He's a great miner, guys. Look at that. That's serious. This thing's ugly, huh? Oh, yeah. See, we're fine. But we do have to pay attention. You see that? Oh, heal now. That's a little dirt racket, guys. Oh yeah, that's gonna go down. I think there's some kind of mission for these or something like that. I'm gonna have to look into it. Usually it's Bella and them under the um, Sirene Rangers stuff. Um, what is it called? Yeah, Sirene Ranger stuff. The post the hunting of these and stuff. So I just honestly thought it would be them swarming these, so. But obviously these take a crop load of pad. And so, I, I don't know. Maybe they're worth it, maybe they're not. I'm sure if you got an HOF off of them, it would be. Hey Kilman, I hope you're having a great day. We're gonna watch and see what happens here. I feel they prefer to hit him. He must be out damaging me or something like that. Oh! 
I knew we were gonna get a global anyway. Did, whoa, they spawned another one fast. Did you see that crap, you guys? Oh, they instant spawned another. That's cool. Okay, so that's one global. I'm, I'm not sure what it just cost us to take that guy down, honestly, guys. Probably a little bit. What a... Oh, whoa, I'm still in the... I'll get behind him. That way, maybe... Maybe he'll have to turn around and face me. I don't know. Probably doesn't affect much. I feel my mojo level super freaking high, though. And we just busted out a bunch of guns, which, honestly, every time I make a bunch of guns, I think this game likes it or something. And so then it's like super love ya. I don't know if that's true. But, you know. Let's go on with it. You know. That's freaking beast, huh? sure how much HP this thing has. A freaking lot, right? I mean, I'm throwing good hits. I mean, they're not like, but you know, they're hard. I say in a kind of weakened way, but you know. I've seen what some of the other people do with damage. And so some days I feel like super proud of the damage we throw down and some days I'm like oh man I just watched somebody throw down like crazy damage I'm not so confident now that's okay we're gonna get through this guy hey firebug I hope you're having a great day I just got so many swirly things in a row it was crazy Later on, if we have enough materials, we're going to get even more. And we're going to get more anyway, just while we're hunting, just so you guys know. I got to every little bit make sure I check who's on and stuff. But yeah. That wasn't a swirly, but I'm going to tell you what, it's okay. They can't all be, you know, psh. People get outraged. These things are pretty intimidating, but I'm gonna tell you my match for what kind of um, damage they do or something has to be like real matched up. Guys, and I'm not using super expensive armor. I'm gonna let you know. I'll show you. Look at this. I'm using Arc Ranger armor with Imperial Officer plates and one de defense enhancer. So basically, it's slightly souped up. I don't know what this is. I must have got this at some point. But not massive. Hey, Zuck, I hope you're having a great day also. Yeah, they are super big, but you see what I mean? They're not like, oh, hit me one time and send me to the grave. I've, I've had things that are 25th level jack me up way worse than this. I'm going to just be honest about that. Like, that's the crazy thing. Which is... That's why armor matters to mob, right? This is a crazy, crazy amount of uh, throwing fireballs going into this dang thing. Oh, the balance is not always proportionate. And honestly, sometimes it's just that the mob is totally a different type of thing or is a type of aggressive one. This, yeah, this is a this is somebody just going to, 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 to mob. We're going to move on to one that I personally really like in a second. I do like these. 
Oh, well, I think they're neat. I think that it's more for like if you were doing an event and spreading the cost of a few of them across more than one person. To be honest, that's my thoughts on it. These aren't my cup of tea necessarily, but I will kill some once in a while, especially knowing that they're not outside of the, the realm of possibility. You know what I mean? Okay. We're gonna we're gonna hope homeboy here does well. I'm gonna heal him for a second. Hold on. Oh, he's using. He's using one of these. He's using a regeneration chip. That's totally different. I'm gonna hit him with my regen chip anyway. Oh, it diminished it. That makes me mad. There. Okay. Now we've got him hooked up. This isn't what we're going to be cooking. These guys are cool, though. They should be... Ooh, I'm going to hit a building, guys. He's big, though. I would like to see what the HOF light on one of those looks like, though. I am about to go fight something, though. It is going to be a little different beastie, though. Which is okay. I started fresh coffee right as we started coming in on this. Okay, now we're going to the big guys. Well, they're not big. I'm not going to say big. We're going to go right here. I'm going to go grab a fresh cup of coffee for my fresh coffee, which is super exciting. And then we're going to hunt the crap out of some big spider robots. Okay, fresh coffee in hand, heading this way. So, guys, if you haven't been here, I'll tell you what's up with this. Hold on. Wait, what What? What are sheets with redeems to BTW? I don't know, know what a sheet with a redeem. Oh, off the spiders. No, I have not. Have you? I mean... Are you talking about the redeems off of these spiders over on the island? I'm about to poof over to. By the way, if you're doing the daily and stuff like that, this is what you're going to want to be doing right there. I just want to verify that we're talking or thinking even the same, guys. Okay, I'm going to poof over here. This is likely to be the wrong spot. Okay, let me see. I'm probably just slightly off. No, we're good. We're good. This is... Ooh. Hold on. These guys... Are, what the heck just happened? Oh! Because I was helping that dude. That's so freaking funny. Okay. 
Uh, that that's crazy. Okay, so he got a global just there. Okay, ready? We're gonna throw down on these guys. I'm gonna pull up their thing. I rehab their thing up. I like this mob. If you guys have ever fought this mob, so there's insane crap you can get from these guys. Are you coming to hunt these right now? Zuck? Is this what you're, you're... I have stuff if you need to redeem points. Is that what you're asking? Or are you talking about those slips that you can get off of these? Because I've never got one. I've known people who are... Who did. Honestly, never happened for me yet. We'll wait till it does. I'm a little close to these guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a fight going on with too many of these guys. It's going to be a bad situation. Let me find a good place to stand for fighting these guys. Yeah, this is a good place right here. This looks like a safe place to stand. Pick fights with giant spiders. Oh. I probably should kill a couple of those scouts too. Yeah, weapon vouchers. That's that's what I'm asking too. I'm talking about the weapon vouchers. Have you got one, Senka? See, I've got one of these these Imperium dudes eyeballing me. Look at that that grunt. Probably eyeballing me. I don't know if he is really. But that is what I'm talking about, Senka. The the weapon vouchers. I've never got one. Well, I'm going to let you know. There are people that have got them. And uh, supposedly there were some freaking... Some pretty... Pretty high amount of pad guys. I mean, I've not got one, so I don't know. But one of the people that, that has got one, I do believe did get one because they're very hardcore hunter and they hunt the crap out of these and they let me know about it and they hunt these specifically for that and they've already codexed through them which is crazy because these aren't like a, oh let me just run through this codex real quick I've never got one I've never even actually seen one myself though but I do know about them and I've heard other people claim to have got one I don't know if they have. I don't know if they haven't. It could be. They're supposed to be super rare. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what it is. I don't know the deal with them, guys. Oh yeah, you turn them in for some some ridiculous stuff. I just personally have never got one of the vouchers for a, a weapon off of one of these guys. If I did get one, we'll all find out together. I'll go get some Zorn. We'll turn it in. It'll be vastly outside my power level. I'll be like, whoa, look at this really cool unlimited gun that's super freaking ridiculous. Then I'd probably put it in my little booth, honestly. I don't know. Come back and hunt more of these guys. I actually like this mob. It's a super chill mob. Just so you guys know. I've got to look up what most of the stuff is actually for, though, on it. By the way, they go way high level behind me. If you're just, like, trying to be like, oh... Oh, good. Well, I should be checking out Cyrene Dreams. Yeah. That might be a good idea, you guys. This area has a lot of cool stuff to hunt. See, like, if I wanted to, there's some of those, um... The robot dogs... Then you've got Imperial Vets. 
Like, there's more than one robot dog. There's a bunch of them somewhere. He's, he's got away from his pack. He's kind of ugly looking. He might hit hard. But see, there's 47th. And way up there, there's ridiculous ones that will rip my head off. So I don't go up there and try to pick that fight. These are a really good one right there. Oh, yeah. Thank you for sharing that. I'm glad that they have all these hay specific dot orgs for each planet. It's kind of interesting. <coughs> I really do like these guys. They're pimp. It's a big, big freaking trying to trying to watch what's going on so I can catch people. Phil, we're gonna get a global off these guys though. Let me double check that we have enough hunting. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna global today. I mean, other than the other globals that we did already, we're gonna global more. It'll just happen. Honestly, my coffee's so good. All the plants I planted yesterday looked healthy. I'm really happy about that. I'm going to make a bunch of um, relish, the jalapeno type relish, right? You can make relish out of all kinds of stuff, by the way, guys. I just found this out the other year when I grew way too many jalapenos and was like, well, what the crap am I going to do with all these jalapenos? But then somebody offered to make relish out of them. And at first I thought, well, that's crazy. That won't work. So it turns out you can just make relish out of jalapenos and stuff. And then it's kind of like spicy relish, right? So then it's good on super good amounts of stuff like hot dogs and other random things that you're like, oh, would never have guessed. So now, even though everybody thought, oh, well, that was too many jalapenos that year, I'm growing more. Because I actually really like the, the spicy relish. I have several cans left. Uh, actually, several, several cans. But I went through a bunch of it. And at one point, I was like giving it to friends and stuff, which really, they liked it and stuff like that. But then I started running low. So then I stopped mentioning that I still have some at all. But this year, I'm stocking up. I got a plan. I'm going to grab a Kleenex real quick. My other plan is I've got this uh, choke cherry bush and stuff like that. And I think it's actually going to be big enough to have choke cherries on it sufficient for uh, having jam. Which I don't know how to can jam. I'm going to have to Google that now. It is. It, it would last almost forever because of the pH and stuff. But besides that, it's super good. I'm doing awesome. Look at this crap. That was 14. Yeah. So it's really yummy. Honestly, like... And so, I, yeah, I'm going to make more. I really like food like that. Except I don't really know how to can. Okay, I'm gonna, but my neighbor, like, honestly, my neighbor behind, well, not even behind me, to the side of me, like, directly to the side of me, so they're getting bees in, like, two weeks, I know, I'm super excited about that, and his wife is super, super, like, um, from a very rural area and stuff like that, right? And at the end of the year, they set up a whole station and do canning out in their yard and can all the stuff from their garden and stuff. It's pretty impressive. And so basically, 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her half of my uh, choke cherries and stuff like that, and uh, I'm I'm gonna get her to show me how to can it. Like she already knows how to can that stuff, and they already do that stuff. And so like, psh. yeah, I'm super excited about it. I'm gonna have jam out of it. It's only a few years of work, and I'll probably get only a couple cans of jam this year. But, legit, uh, choke cherry jam's pretty freaking good, guys. Yeah. It's absolutely super good, honestly. I'm gonna have other things in my garden too, like I have two tomatoes in so far, so I can have uh, tomato sandwiches and stuff. I'm gonna put some little like cherry tomato ones in so I can make sun-dried tomatoes, because I like to put sun-dried tomatoes into things I cook. And those are easy to make. You basically just cut a bunch of tomatoes in half, salt them and stuff like that, and like slow dry them in the sun or in the oven in which I cheat tastes good no it it is poor texture if if you're not used to those kind of textures that's why I think a lot of people turn them into sauces and stuff I'm I, I don't usually do that but I probably should learn some good techniques for that kind of stuff sauces are the Sauces are where it's at, supposedly, you guys. People tell me all the time, if you have good sauces, you can fake a, a dish almost, because you can cover up a dish. Sauces bring so much to a dish. Probably should learn a bunch of sauces. That'd be yummy. Yeah, I've never canned stuff either. I've known people that can stuff as a kid and stuff, like my grandma canned things. But really, in all honesty, outside my neighbor, not a lot of people I know do a lot of canning. But if you garden right, it's freaking actually pretty epic. I mean, like... I'm gonna have to have somebody show me how to do it, but maybe, maybe they'll be so comfortable with it that they'll show us all how to do it. I have no idea. Like maybe, maybe they're in my internet range of, or I can just get a video of it. I guess. You guys feel we're about mojoed up big time? I do too. Do you know what's freaking also good that I've only had just recently done this way? So you know fry squash where you take like the little, I don't know, it's like a yellow squash that's long and you cut it up and then you like uh, bread it and stuff like that and cook it up. That's super good. But I had that done to eggplant. And I'm going to tell you, I think eggplant might be better than fried squash that way. I mean, like, I'm not like definitively like telling you guys that that's how it works across the board. But it was pretty freaking good. I actually liked it. I'd probably grow more of those. I didn't grow enough of them to do much, like, at all with. Super good tasting. Hey, Bella, how you doing? I was just telling these guys, because I thought... So somebody was killing one of the rooted mechs, and I was almost totally sure it would be you, so I headed over there. It was not, but... Thank you, by the way, for the raid. I hope you're having an amazing day. 
Also, everybody, if you don't know, Bella's channel hunts the crap out of this planet. Like, a lot of hunting this planet. And, often is doing, like, group event stuff, like the giant bird. I don't remember what it's called. Maybe it's called giant bird. Um... Something just happened, but I don't know what it was. We'll, we'll figure that out later. Yeah, the big bird. What you can't hunt without a group of people and people that will throw down damage. Absolutely a good thing to do. Did you have a good stream and did you have any luck on your day? And... May I ask what planet the person got the, the 60? I heard somebody got a 60k hit the other day. Well, let's just check it. Oh, frick. What was it? Hunting? Mining? What the crap is this crap? This is insane, too. I'm just trying to double check that I'm seeing this right. Sorry, guys. Crafting. Last night, what were they crafting? And good for them. Sorry, guys. I'm just flipping. Oh. It's an all-time. Yeah, it is. Look at that. That's crazy, crazy. Yeah. Let's double check. Yeah. Well. I did not get one of those today or lately. Um, it's okay. Not a biggie. We're working on it. I'm going to figure out what we just sold though. I'm not really sure about that. That's a bitch. I need to be on Discord more. No crap. That's crazy, though. I do need to actually be more on Discord. I'm not good about it. Right now I've been kind of working on a bunch of projects to try to get them all like... But yes, Firebug, I, I need to get on Discord more often. There's probably a bunch of people that think. Oh, I should do it on my mobile phone. I could do that. That, that might be the reasonable way to do it. Wait, hold on. Sky Labs. I don't know what the sky... Oh, is this the one where I have to r not fall off of things? And Rudevo, I hope you're having a great day also, by the way. Oh. Yeah, wait till I'm... 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 Focused and able to not just fall on my butt. Oh, look at that! That was 43.86. So they're not hating this right now. No crap. I don't know if I know what you're talking about, actually. So I don't know about this. So that's why I haven't done it. I don't even know what it is. So there's a Skylabs thing at the TP where you land up on the flying ship? Is that what you're saying? I 
I need. I'm gonna freaking go to the wiki stuff, guys. I'm. I mean, not right this second. Okay, I know how to craft a cube. Yeah, I don't even know anything about this, but I will find out about it. I didn't know about it. A race? Well, you're gonna win. You, you, you're freaking mastered that stuff, and you have your magic armor of running. You probably have a magic ring of running, the the hammer, your magic armor. I'm gonna be betting that you like whip the crap out of us. All foot race you. I'll, I'll I just want to no no I want armors. Let's see this. I I want to foot race you just to see how fast you are. I'll bet you run way faster than me. Supposedly, even athletics and stuff like that has something to do with it. But I honestly, I don't know about that crap. You know what I mean? Um, but I, I do know Pimp Gear definitely has stuff. Wait, 25%? Oh. Well, they didn't give me any plus jump stuff. I watched you run that maze earlier, just so you know. And, um, I would not have done it as fast as you. And the one where you had to go through the darkness that was doing you damage, honestly, I wouldn't have known where to go. I would have got myself jacked up. Oh, no, I, I don't know about the other one. I've only watched the maze run things. She, she... Well, I'm going to be looking into this stuff later, you guys. I'm totally on this now. I didn't know about that. I didn't know that there was an instance up there. I'm glad there are instances here. Good. I really don't think that they're being jerks at us right now, guys. I should be scanning all these. Okay, so I'm going to practice it off of... I do want a reward. So I'm going to practice it not on stream. And then, after I don't suck at it enough that I can go through it, I'm going to make a cube... I've got to get your mama's wife, though, a gun. And I also was going to do the mini thingy majiggy majiggy. And so, it's going to be like, um, probably Monday before I'm back here. I'm really hoping people sell me the rest of those basic chips. I hunted a bunch myself and kind of thought people would, like, fill that up. But... Not as many people have sold me chips as I thought would. I think I got as many as has been sold to me almost. Which was a lot of killing robots, you guys. A lot of killing robots. Holy crap. Robots were dying. Oh, I know. I know. Um... But, I, I still need a bunch. I don't need that many left. I, I, like, have an order in for 14 left. And in all honesty, I'll probably kill some more next week, too. Oh! Tommy gun thing. Oh crap, look at this. They just gave us a bunch again. So they're just giving us right under a thing. Um, oh. 
I I don't know which one it was. Oh, we're going to global. I'm not even worried about the global thing. We're, we're, we're 100%. A global will occur. I'm not, not even worried about that. That, that's going to happen. I'm trying to think. Today I was using a bunch of guns, actually. So I used, um, a plasma Gatlin gun. A laser Gatlin gun at one point. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! If you, if you say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a global, it, it won't be four hours, guys. But, it is eventually you're gonna have a global. Anyway. That's, that's, that's the magic of that stuff, right? So, what is the, the, the relevant proximity and stuff like that? You only remember what you're really trying to remember. So if like I say I'm about to have a global and stuff like that. And I have a global. That then sticks in your mind. But then if said thing doesn't occur. It doesn't stick in your mind as much. I mean I'm not saying that's what's going on necessarily all the time. But that really does happen. That's, that's something that. Oh, yeah, I get you. Well, but no, but that's a real thing, though, too. You know that, right? So, things can, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just being honest. Like, sometimes it probably feels like I'm calling stuff. I have a very positive viewpoint of what's going to occur in the day, usually. Which, that may be affecting it. And part of it may be, um, just how reality and memory works. Or, could be remote perpetration. Or magic. Unicorn dust, I don't know. You know, good coffee, probably. I'm having such an awesome day. I hope you all are having such a good day. Firebug, did you have a good workout earlier? Did, are you getting beast? I'll bet you're getting beast. Or at least really tone. Or whatever your workout goal is. I never know what people's workout goal is. Hey, Ierson, how you doing? Well, everybody... Everybody has different goals. Toning's a good idea. It's healthy. No, good choice. If you don't keep active and keep moving your body, one day you go to do it. And all of a sudden you're like... You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen too many older dudes that kept uh, healthy and stayed healthy. And then I've seen tons of people that, like, literally were healthy at one point. But then they just quit doing it anything and then slowly but surely they couldn't do anything which I'm like mm. that's funny how you doing Ronus there's a Greek philosopher well, there's a lot of Greek philosophers. I believe it's a Greek philosopher. Um, but he was kind of a scandalous one. And uh, he got in trouble for rubbing stuff in public. And uh, when they were asking him about it and stuff like that, he literally defended himself by saying that... Uh, if it was only as easy to satisfy one's hungry hunger by uh, rubbing one's belly, um, you know I don't remember all the way, so I don't want to go all the way there. But basically, that yeah, he's a scandalous dude. He might even be Googleable as the most scandalous like either Greek or Roman philosopher. And I'm not sure which one he was. 
basically a homeless guy. Just to be honest. But he was a philosopher. That obviously got in trouble in public all the freaking time. kind of wanted to Google it, but I'm not really sure exactly how you word the Googling of that without it being weird and possibly ending up with images that you don't want to see. Oh, I don't think muscle oil is not on robots. I would think it's not, is it? I got muscle. Did I get muscle oil on this robot? Oh, well, you know what? I'm not sure. I might have. Did I kill anything other than these guys? Oh, no. You know where I'll bet I got that? Yeah. So mechs, they count them as a creature. Because supposedly there's a pilot in there, right? I know. It's okay. I don't feel I'm defeating the, the pilot. I feel like I'm like defeating the, the mob, the mech itself. But they say the other way. Even if the hunting skill is one thing, the looting skill definitely should be mechanical. I feel we're kicking some real butt here. Let's check and see if our... I'm trying to, to see if, if I can figure out when people are going to be on and stuff, guys. Because I do want to catch people that... Well, that's definitely the wrong person. Uh, well, I'll figure that out later. Which name they're using in their name thing. LaFell, are you, are you on watching right now, by the way? It's okay if you're not. I'm going to catch you later on, no matter what, anyway. That's such a frickin' big mob. I do think that that's awesome that they got that big of a crafting frickin' HOF. Just, that's crazy to me, but... It's still one of those things that you gotta be like... Oh, well, I, I uh, rather I'm glad that you, you can listen to music at the same time, too. Hey, can I ask what music you listen to? I'm always curious what people listen to. One time, I was just, like, visiting with people, and they uh, sent me a bunch of music that they listened to from other countries. And I was like, holy crap. Like, there's some fascinating stuff. Like, I heard Iranian rap. I did not even know that was a thing there. I'm going to let you know, they're pissed off at the system. I know, it's a big shock, right? Um, it's fascinating, actually. So is, like, a bunch of the Turkish stuff, which I would never have guessed. Like, but straight up. 
No. Oh. Avalonis, no crap, dude. I I also have listened to Russian rap. Uh seriously. I'll have to so I'll have to figure out who the dude is. It's pretty gangster. A lot of other people's stuff is super interesting. If you just like Google like rock in this random country, blah 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 or anything, it's crazy the kind of I don't want copyright struck or I would put on the uh, music that uh it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. I'll actually hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on for you guys. Yeah, I, I did not know how many countries had different versions of stuff that I would have never known about. Don't worry, I'm gonna find this song real quick and not die at the same time, maybe. I don't know, maybe, maybe I will. I'm in the middle of trying to find a channel. Well, and, okay, watch this crap. I gotta make sure it doesn't play though. Okay. I'm finding a thing real quick. And, okay. Good. I stopped it from playing out loud. That's always a good thing. Okay, guys. I'm going to share this to you. No crap. Somebody shared this to me. It's pretty gangster. I mean, like... I'm going to just be honest. Like... I thought it was gangster. I hope I shared the right thing to you guys. I'm going to make sure real quick. Yeah, okay, I did. I'll, I'll share it in the description on Facebook, too. Or not Facebook. I don't have a Facebook. I, I deleted that crap. Um, on on uh, YouTube. So that you guys will know what it is. But no crap. It's super gangster. The Turkish one that people sent me. Super seriously, too. Like, way good. Cons. Just cons. Look, anything that you've ever said or argued with somebody about could one day come up on you and nuke you. Literally, unless you're like an old lady trying to keep in touch with people because you don't want to keep in touch with people, then then why you... It, I don't consider it worth having it. I'm not a face, a pro Facebook person. I feel that most people have so much history from the years of being on it before that they were probably really smart about social media in any way that there's probably something for half the people out there from 20 years ago that could come up on them and ruin their stuff. You know what I mean? Like just crap your day. On top of that, um, I've, I've been different in who I am as an individual over the whole of my life, in which not necessarily because somebody knew me 22 years ago, do I consider that I want them to necessarily know me today. And so for me, deleting Facebook was legitimately like starting a clean chapter. I know that sounds brutal, but like I still keep in touch with people and if somebody from my past gets in touch with me and is friendly and nice, I'm still going to be friendly and nice and visit with them. But le legitimately, deleting Facebook was the equivalent of taking a whole bunch of like having no reason to have a connection to that past and being like, boom. You know what I'm saying? And then if those same people end up somehow in my present, 
than it is just because they're in my present life. Not just because like, hey, by proxy of you knew me 22 years ago, crap. <coughs> and I'm not trying to be mean or belittle any relationships with anybody I've ever had. Because honestly, every person that you ever meet is really a super shaping thing. But I loved deleting the crap out of Facebook. It felt good. Like, I don't like their company anyway. But, like, legitimately, it was like... Pfft. Oh, I get you. Ronis, I get you. And I think for different people, it's different. But, like, I'm not the biggest... I, I'm not going to be the guy that tells you social media is the greatest thing. Because I absolutely think most people shouldn't actually spend as much time on social media as they do. Because they're literally spending less time doing stuff in their real life than watching. Like, I just don't get that. I like watching people do stuff. I like the social aspect of social media to a point. But when it is literally filling up so much of your life that you're not doing anything with your own life, that's that, that's crap. That's That's not good. Nobody should do that. And so now, and Facebook's notoriously sh just not, I'm not a fan of them. I really don't like, like, uh, certain companies that do certain things, actually. Everybody's different, though. Facebook will probably send me some meme. Are you talking crap letter to me or something? I don't know if they would do that, actually, but... It was super satisfying to delete Facebook. I'm going to just let you guys know. And I had like a lot of connections on Facebook. And I didn't see any value. I mean, I like posted a post, right? And let people know, hey, I'm going to delete this app. And I'm not going to be on it anymore. And then like I visited with some people. Got their... Boom! There's a global right there. See? I got their info and stuff like that. That's for deleting Facebook. Because we deleted Facebook, the mojo went... Shh, Just saying. If you delete Facebook and play aggressively, you too could get a global. You could. I'm not guaranteeing what I'm just saying. It could happen to. But yeah, it was absolutely a good choice. So I'll tell you the pros of Facebook. If you just have a company that's like targeting certain people in some capacities, I'm sure Facebook is a super effective business tool. Like vanity marketing and stuff like that. Like if I had a company that was like going to be like making books and publishing books where I was blowing smoke up people's butts, I would just join a bunch of those groups that are like art groups or something like that. And I'm not telling you guys to do this, but I happen to know how vanity marketing works. So say you join a poetry group or three or a Facebook art group or three. And then every little bit you see some good stuff and you build up a page, an Instagram page and some other stuff to where it has a significant amount of viewership. And then you sit there and you contact them and be like, hey, look, we just noticed your amazing poetry or your amazing art. And we'd like to feature you. But then there's, of course, some costs to being featured because you have a 22,000 viewer base, etc., etc. Then on top of that, at the end of the year, once you have a whole bunch of those put together you're of course gonna go on to Amazon or Google publishing or some crap like that and go to one of the self-publishing sites and let them know that they can purchase their copy in advance of the compilation of all the people's work that paid to be on the thing and I mean that's an extreme example of vanity marketing but that is what happens with that stuff in all kinds of industries 
including like say like I was just like following a bunch of business people and said hey I wanted to feature you in top 23 business people of this year in our thing I mean you had to build up that stuff over time but that's what Facebook's about guys and some other stuff I mean I'm not trying to be mean. marketing that's what Facebook does Facebook's a marketing company right they're, they're googled as a advertising company I'm pretty sure that they're advertising and marketing so like if you're using them for what you're using them for then they're totally I don't advertise on Facebook and I'm not trying to market on Facebook so for me it has less value but I get get how people uh, everybody's different you guys I'm not I'm not trying to judge like and say that like for you guys you don't see great value in Facebook some people murder it on Facebook in fact I'm sure a bunch of those cryptocurrency guys or those Forex exchange guys are probably murdering it there too um, I'm just not I, I don't do that that's not how I attempt to make money in life so super less valuable People do make ridiculous money on people's vanity, though, guys. Be careful about that. Like, people will uh, trap you quicker with your vanity than almost anything. Straight up. We're probably going to get another global, just so you guys know. Got some kind of thing in the jiggy here. Somehow, oh, well, there it is. I mean, it'll be a second, of course, but well, I have got back to back globals before, it's insane. When I get a back to back global, though. I'm like always shocked to myself because it kind of seems like not logical almost but My coffee is freaking epic though right now. My mustache is tickling the crap out of my nose though. I wish that was like a sign that we we're about to global, but it's not. It's just a sign that I'm still alive and my nose always itches for some reason. But worse when I have a mustache. Not not quite as bad. But we noticed like technically yeah, for sure it still it just I'm gonna have to kill a freaking lot of these to get through this codex, you guys. A oh, long, long codex. You guys thought I was about to global right there too, huh? I thought I was too. That one's trying to get away, and for some reason it doesn't want to... Okay, we'll just attack that one. I'm not trying to do whatever they were trying to trick me into. I really felt like they were trying to trick us there too.
trying to watch for people to make sure we get people's stuff to them. Okay. Well, that was not a global for sure. This is a really good mob. I wish it was a little bit more action-y than it is, but you know. I'm pretty sure an HOF off of this would be like some kind of Crazy stuff. Oh, that guy's trying to sneak up on me. Don't trust that stuff. I'm gonna end up tearing this armor again soon, guys. They end up with tear some insane amount eventually maybe I don't know we'll find out if that happens I could end up switching armor to something bigger eventually I want to do those uh, giant Tesla pods to be honest eventually for all of their uh, goodness how much am I getting each one of these we're at 43.7 Hey, Leon, how you doing today? Hope you're having a great day, by the way. Oh, yeah, see, we're not even quite getting the whole percentage point per kill. Yeah, that's not good. Loading up with with stuff though. I think I could do a giant run of some kind of crap here. Ooh. I almost pulled one on accident. Not what we were trying to do. So you guys have any great plans for this weekend? Like epic stuff that you're trying to do at least? I hope at least somebody has some epic plans. I'm going to do more gardening and cook stuff. Uh, I love gardening though. I like My allergies don't love it. Freaking that's, that's for sure. But the everything else I freaking love. And I don't have like severe allergies from like, oh my gosh, let me go find an EpiPen or some crap. Thank God. Very blessed to not have that kind of stuff going on. I have, hey, mild, I'm going to sneeze allergies and stuff. Which, you know what I mean? Can't be like too much crap talk on that. By the way, we're going to get some more HOFs. Because I'm probably going to just order in the amount. Oh, you know what? We could stop right now. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get us some. No. I'm going to keep doing what we're doing for a second. We're going to get another global here first.
That's the plan. I almost wonder what you could mine here. Hey, your mad wife, you're going to be on for a little bit, and are you on, uh, are you on, uh, what is it called? My god, my brain went dead there. I don't even know how it went so dead. Are you on Calypso? I'm just wondering for, for purposes of making sure you get your weapon too. Super excited about this stuff. Plus, I'm excited about restocking things because honestly, our inventory has been crap for the last week. Starting to get very nice here in Colorado. It was like rainy today, by the way. Like a light rain. I'd like a heavy rain, but not happening at this point. Super nice looking outside, though. Like, yeah. I'm going to be doing some gardening later tonight. That wasn't a horrible one, but that's not that great. I'd like to get one of those little claim invoices though for sure I think that that's crazy neat I'm pretty sure that those guys are fighting the bigger ones though guys I mean I don't, I don't a million percent know that but my assumption is that that's what's going on but you get a bunch of high grade what am I getting a bunch of actually? Let's see. Well, not really stuff I directly need, but I used some of that stuff. I just literally already had a bunch because we robot hunted all yesterday, pretty much. And so, not as handy as I want it to be, but... I, for one second, thought that I was about to go. Shh. If you guys want to stand, pause the mojo, you're welcome to, because I think we're about to have something happen here.
besides just my delicious coffee. Which is disappearing way faster than it's supposed to. It's okay. Probably honestly should cut myself off from coffee today. I woke up earlier than I should have. Drank a bunch of coffee. Drank a bunch of coffee. At this point, I should... Yeah, I probably definitely should cut myself off. I'll be getting water for my next drink. Uh, that sounded really disappointing, huh? Good old fashioned healthy water. Holy crap on that. That's not horrible. It just isn't a global or a HOF. It's crazy how much work we're having to put through on this freaking codex alone, right? I mean, like, that that's a lot of fireballing the crap out of these guys. We're still working it, though. I, I'm not even looking forward to seeing what this is like at 25th level codex. Boom! So there's our global right there. So that, that's exactly how we do this. Then, watch this check. Because we, we're not foolish about this. And we know we're not just going to get another global instantly, right? I'd say that was a nice, sexy global. I do want to show you guys this so you guys see how dangerous this can get, though. Because I, you know what I mean? Like, I showed you the little ones. There are 56th level ones right there. And here are the ones that will just tear you up. Now here's where I think they're getting the vouchers, guys. I don't believe that that uh, I'm going to get a voucher on the one... Oh, these guys. These guys are going to be getting the vouchers. Yeah, these guys up here. This is who's getting the vouchers. Th it's what I believe. And I mean, I could be wrong. Who, who is it? I'm coming in. I didn't know the whole upper hill was being hunted up here. This this is where I think you need to be up here to get the vouchers, guys. And I could be wrong, but Polo... Pale, I don't know what that says. He's dominating, though. Let's find out what he's using to dominate. You guys want to find out? Angel Helmet and um, MK5B. Look at this crap. Okay, so this guy's beast. You guys realize that, right? I don't know if you guys know. I mean, you guys know. I feel you guys respect this. He's not a crafter, he's not a miner. He kills things. This dude's a hunter. Okay. So that guy's a hunter. Hold on one second. Let's see how we get across here to the, his friend. Because I'm pretty sure these guys are dangerous to me. Like a kid sliding down something. Right? You guys all did that, right? I slid down things on my butt when I was a kid, at least. One time, though, I'm going to say that I was on a camping trip, and I decided to slide down some rocks like this. And there was 
a small amount of cactus. I'm just going to say that, I mean, I didn't get hit bad, but I got the back of my leg pretty freaking good. And it's, it was not good. It was, I mean, like, it sucked. Let's see. This guy's going to be a beast, too. What is this guy wearing? Viceroy? Modified Viceroy? Oh, let's look at this. Yeah, he's a beast. What is this? What is this gun this guy has? Do you guys know about this? What is this gun? A BC-95. Okay. That guy's stacked. Straight up. Stacked as heck. Boom. Just in case you guys were wondering, the two dudes up here are beasting. Well, I'm gonna zoom too. All do our sorcery together. Up. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to try to get some more. I'm checking to see if we have the ability to finish off some more of these. Uh, I should change mobs, honestly, for a second. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my uh, free points done for the day. Watch this crap. This will give us some wool, too. Wool's going to be super important for what we want to do. Because I still have the ability to craft like 11 of those. Okay, there's the Panaleons. My twin right there, guys. Then we come up here. While scratching our nose. Because you want to stack your missions. Don't don't not stack your missions. It would be a bad freaking idea to not stack missions. Or, I don't know if I said that right. Well, basically stack your missions. Then we grab this one. This dude's going to give us some amount of combat reflexes. I think it's 60 pack. In which, during this hunt, we'll probably also global. I, I don't know. I may just be honest. It, a global is probably going to happen. Uh, I like to hunt these in here, but not in the little one. I don't think that's as handy for me. Because, honestly, the little ones don't drop the stuff I want most of the time. Oh, let's make sure we repair our stuff. What are we doing? Let's get this clean, too. I don't know if you guys like these Panaleons in this cavern. I'm not going to get myself more coffee. Because I feel that would be naughty. It's almost empty. I'll probably have to go grab a water. And be healthy. I know. Wait, what cookies? What do you mean, cookies? I like cookies. I don't know if you were talking about the same kind. I like real cookies for sure, though. Uh, I mean, not computer cookies. Computer cookies, they're not. They're freaking not the same thing. Yeah, I like cookies. 
I don't make enough cookies because I'm not really the biggest baker in the world, but I do like cookies. Hold on one second. I'm going to grab a water. That way we can kick butt on this and I won't be distracted. I'm going to guess that by the time I'm done with the stream, I'm, I'm going to be eyes floating and stuff. Yeah, normal food. I like sweets. No, nah, I do like sweets. I think they're, yeah, I think everybody likes them. So... I'm going to learn how to cook a bunch of sweets eventually. Oh, that might be more firepower than we need. Oh, let's just do it. What kind of cookies are you eating? I know. Yeah, I really like cookies. Not ones with like tons of frosting on them. Like, honestly, that's my downfall with cake. See, we just globaled. I don't know how we just globaled like that, but we just globaled again. They're just like... Pfft. They love us. Yeah. I don't know how that was a global, but I'll take it. Take it. Swirlies, take them any day. Yeah, cake. Frosting's too sweet, right? Like, I will, like, scrape off most of the frosting on a lot of cakes. I like sweets, but I don't like two inches thick frosting crap. I don't know why people think that they need that much frosting. Way too much. Yeah. I like a moderate amount. You know what's good cake though? And it is pretty sweet, is German chocolate cake. I like that too, it's pretty good. But again, with a, a moderate amount of stuff, not like, hey, let's overkill this to some absurd amount that we don't like. But German chocolate cake is super good. You know what else is good? I don't know how to make them. But it's yummy. Is I had a lemon tart. With blueberry stuff on it. Like a lemon blueberry tart. And it was it was super good. I, I definitely would think that's a, a delicious food. Frozen chocolate mini cakes, huh? That sounds not bad. I like mini cakes. Not with not not a lot of like coffee flavored ones. Are you eating uh, what are they called? The little coffee cakes from Hostess? Oh. Okay. Oh. 
Well, I don't have a a baker in my area that that's making me. I have to go just get the hostess once. Holy crap! Now I feel. Yeah, I don't have a baker, guys. I'm my own baker, and I'm not that great of a baker yet. I'm working on it though. I like baking. It's super chill, and then you get to eat everything. That's about the most pleasant part about it. I like that part though. I've made some delicious bread lately. And I found out you could air fry all kinds of stuff. Like fish and random other foods, Twinkies, air fried Twinkies are good. Especially like with ice cream or homemade uh, whipped cream. That's super good. I love homemade whipped cream and ice creams. Air fryers are freaking epic. Seriously, like some of the best tasting fish that I've ever had has been cooked in an air fryer. And some random stuff that I would have never expected. I really think air fryers are neat. Like, they're handy. Super naughty. I have a bunch of that other stuff, you know what I'm saying? That That is handy and stuff like that, like an Instapot and stuff. I hardly use it at all, and the stuff isn't better in it. But an air fryer... Man, some of the stuff you cook in an air fryer is legit better. Like, it's not only done faster, it's actually good. That's a huge deal. I'm not that excited that my stuff's done 10 minutes faster and tastes like crap. You know what I'm saying? I can wait the 10 minutes for it to taste palatable. But an air fryer, push, cooks it, boom. Super handy. It's like one of the best, like, modern little cookie cook tools that they've put out for a long time. Yeah, I thought it was just going to be another modern convenience thing that's kind of bullcrap, you know? Like, they come out with a new thing, like, every few months anymore. And so, at first, I thought, Psh, sure, it's amazing. And it, it, it is actually cooler than I thought. Now, they're just adding them to everything, though. So, you don't really have to buy an air fryer anymore. Soon, they'll just be in your oven. Which is handy. What's the best thing you've ever cooked in your air fryer? In fact, what's the best meal and best dessert? Or have you cooked both? Because I'm going to tell you, some of the vegetables, like if you just like put some olive oil, some seasoning and stuff, and uh, whip them up, you can get some seriously dank, dank, like, I guess air fried stuff like that, like spinach, or not spinach, what is that stuff called? It's like a stick, it's green. I think it's asparagus, but who knows at this point. I'm not the biggest vegetarian. Oh, broccoli's good in it too. Oh, and cauliflower. So I think it is asparagus. So asparagus with a little bit of spices on it and stuff is definitely dank. It is. Twinkies are good in the air fryer too, you guys. Just so you know. I know that's not health food or anything. 
And I'm willing to freaking try more things in the air fryer too. Brussels sprouts? Yeah. I'll bet they are. That, that sounds like one that would be reasonable in the air fryer. It super makes them good with the little like... You don't have to actually fancy them up that much either. Just a little bit of like salt, some pepper, some kind of seasoning on them. Throw them in the air fryer. Boom. I'm going to try a hostess apple pie in the air fryer too. Just so you guys know. I feel it'll be good. I'm just going to put it out there that that's something that sounds like it'll be yummy. You know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to put cinnamon and sugar on some slices of apple and stuff. And I'm going to air fry those. Do you think that's going to turn out? Well, I'm hoping it does somehow. Maybe I need to think this through more. I don't know. I'm going to put some stuff on something. I'm going to air fry it, though. None of it's going to be health food, though. None of it. I do like Brussels sprouts, though. I haven't air fried Brussels sprouts, though, guys. I like them normally, though. And so I think that that might be something I try. Uh, this just went up, so somebody bought something again. This is why we always have to fly back. I'm out of stuff in the auction house, I'm sure. It's okay, I'm about to go load that auction house up. It doesn't even know it yet. And my store. That's the sad part. These guys are kind of fun to kill, huh? Oh, somebody bought out the global trucker hat. That must have just closed out or something. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to check us out of here and collect our stuff. See if we have enough to to bust out more um, guns. If not, we're going to buy the stuff to make more guns so that I have enough guns that we don't have to worry about it for a second. Because I still have to freaking go back to uh, Calypso and make a bunch of stuff and restock things there. It's a never-ending cycle. I'm going to make sure that our people aren't on. Um, hold on one second. Go like this. Go like that. Hey, the Diggler! Oh, the Diggler. Guess what? In Diablo 2, I found an item called the Diggler. It was a Diggler Daggler. Dagger. I know, that sounds weird. I was super excited about it. Like, legitimately. I kept it. Okay. So we got a little bit of combat reflexes. I think that was 60 pack worth, but... Pff, some amount. Yeah, I was, I was like, oh, the Diggler Dagger. Makes sense. Uh, tch -tch -tch. 
We're about to do some more spy release too, by the way, you guys. It's my other cousin. It's always a nice, pleasant day. I'm gonna tell you, my day's been out. Oh yeah, I forgot, we're out of that. We have water. Crap. We want this stuff, guys. We wanna talk to this guy real quick. So that guy's gonna give a six pack in mechanical. This guy's gonna give a six pack in manufacture weapons. This dude's going to give us a little bit of tailoring. And this dude's going to give us a little bit of armor technology. All that stuff, we want it all. We're greedy. We don't need this thing. We don't. Boom. Out of the way real quick. Okay. I think we're supposed to do at least one Osprey Matrix, maybe. Let's do just click 10 real quick. I think we only needed one. Nah, that must not be on the list. It's on the other list. We need some of these Osprey Matrixes for what we're doing anyway, I'm sure. I, mean, I could buy some, but... Jeez, they're really telling us to kiss off right here. Ah, there's a little bit. By the way, I still have open bids on any of the uh, basic targeting chips you guys want to, like, sell. Because there really is a never-ending... I could just sell those guns all day. And so it's kind of nice that way. How many did I click to do? Okay, good. Boom. Watch this. Okay, we're going to get this up. Boom. Boom. Looks like we don't have enough wool. I'm betting that there's no wool on this planet. Oh, there is 40 wool on this planet. Wrap wool. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm taking the wool off of this. And then we're going to go right here. They're lying to us. You have to have a success, guys. They're brutal in me right now, guys. They know we're about to kill it, though, so I guess they gotta do what they gotta do. I told you guys I'm not an armorer before, right? We can see the difference in butt kicking right here. This is not an armorer. And we'll show you the difference in a little bit. Hold on one second. Let's go through here. And we're going to tailoring. Boom. I'm not a big time tailorer either. Okay, boom, but still a little bit better. Okay. Okay, this is the weapon skill. Jeez, I might have to get some Kensonite. And they're even being brutal on this. We're good at weapons, and they're just like, they're like, hey, we don't like you today. Okay, there's that skill. Now, what? Any category filters? We want as many filters as we can. 
I don't think anybody else is, and that's of course our skill. We'll collect all these in a second. First, we're gonna collect a bunch more globals and stuff. Okay, got a basic filter BP, that doesn't count for crap. This should be giving us a couple goes. Pretty good amount of guns we're bringing back, honestly, though. Should be able to restock my little store area pretty easy. Have plenty of guns, keep it up. Oh, another basic bearings we don't care about. Okay. Really not have enough what matrixes? Hold on. We need more matrixes. I don't want to buy thirty pedworth, but I'd like to have more than the four clicks. Hopefully when we land back here There'll be plenty of materials and stuff like that for us to buy up and, and be able to pump through more of these There's a considerable amount of pet that we'll make off this by the way Even with the ones that are gonna go to like channel prizes and stuff like that Like what 20 or 30 pet plus trade terminal per each one and so that adds up pretty good I guess Gonna be a second till we finish through this crap right here, though, huh? That definitely didn't go fast at all. We burnt crap several hundred pad through these guys. That's an insane amount of. Psh, 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 psh. Oh. Um. Let me see if I have. I think I have to craft like 20 things to craft an Imperium cube. I usually think that they're easier to just go by, and I'm not trying to be mean there, but they're just a, kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, I really do need filters, crapola. This ain't be self filters. Guys, in order to just be able to do all nine of them, I'm gonna actually just order in the stuff to do the rest of these filters, because it bugs me to, uh, and it doesn't matter anyway because I'm going to need this material on the planet later on. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We go boom. Wool. Watch for wool. Watch for... Is there no wool? This is a conundrum. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna accept that they say no. I'll see what all I need for the Imperium Cube. I haven't made one for a very long time. And in all honesty, what I remember is that they were annoying to make. But this is about to make me super happy right here with the And so I'll probably check into it. Let's see if we have the stuff to do it. Okay, so one HOF. Oh, they fouled us on that. That's brutal. 
They don't like to do that. Ah, and we don't have enough of these. So we lost one targeting chip, and we just don't have enough of those. Ah, that that's them telling us to, to be done with that for the day. Okay, let me put this stuff right here. Boom. Let's grab these. Okay, we've got all those. I know that looks like a lot of stuff to take back, but we're going to have to sell that stuff. Hold on one second. I'll check the Imperium Cube. Do I not have an Imperium Cube? I might not have one anymore. Which I don't know when I would have got rid of an Imperium Cube freaking blueprint. Well, oh, sorry, person. Hold on, who is this? I don't have an Imperium Cube blueprint on me at all. I'm going to suck at this. I'd probably buy one. I, I'm checking it. I'm trying to find that, that little... Right here. Blueprint terminal. Yeah, you have to make all this crap. And then that goes into an Imperium cube, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, all this crap. I don't think I have this. Let's buy it. But you have to make each one of these, which I actually think is a waste. So, like, each blueprint you bring online is super, super um, expensive. And so, unless you're going to commonly be making something, 90% of the time, making it is absolutely not worth it. Just so you guys know. Like, if, if you're going to make it all the time, that's totally different. Um, but see, I'd have to make all of these, and then I would have to make one of those. And to me, that that's, that's definitely not... Not worth it, honestly. Yeah, I would find somebody that... Oh, I can buy one. Watch, I'll show you where you can buy one. Let me collect these real quick. The, they'll be for sale. Somebody will have definitely learned how to do it. And will just have them. Or I'll just say, hey, yo. In fact, there might be one right here. I'll grab the BP. But, um, yeah, this is one of those things I would not start making. Um, because somebody obviously probably already does make one. Let's look. Imperium cubes. Somebody's make yeah. Twelve right here. I can get twelve of them. For Fifteen pad. Fifty of them for this many. So somebody's already busting them out. So if we want them here, I'll grab these twelve right here, and we'll place a bid on them. And if we win these 12 Imperium key cubes, boom. Yeah, that, that's, that's enough. And if we win them, we win them. If somebody else wins them, they'll put another stack in there, just to be honest, guys. Okay. Is um, your angry wife on? Or is it my mad wife? Are you still on? Because I'm going to be bringing you weapons. i got to make sure I'm not packing anything on me, guys. See? That's how you lose stuff. Guys, never, 
never go into space without double checking your stuff. It's literally that easy to just avoid getting robbed in space to just be like, ah, let me just check this one more time before I fly off into the sunset or some other crap like that. Because reality-wise, by the way, I'm going to be back. I still need to get um, LaFell Rose, their, their pet and stuff like that. They actually uh, clicked the 200 pet claim. I'm going to get this gun back to um, your angry wife and stock the auction house is basically it. I'm going to show you what's handy about this place. Bang. That fast. Oh, are you here? Yes, I have your 200 pad. Are you are, are you in game? Let me fly back at you. Hold on. Yeah. I have a minute. I'm flying right back down to the ground right now. I'm so freaking happy to hear your name. Or, wait, I didn't hear your name. You heard your name, but I'm glad you heard your name. I had that so freaking confused. This is going to make it super smooth. Yeah, I am glad you heard your name. This is lucky, you guys. This makes it where we're just chill and where I, I can just not have to worry. It stresses me out. Not like in a real way, guys. Don't worry. But in a, hey, I... I like to get you guys your stuff way. I do like that part. Pretty much. It's going to be a super good weekend. You guys know that, right? Like, epic weekend. Something just made a sound like it was a monster behind me or some crap. I don't know what's going on there. Oh. See how easy that is? Does it feel like we're moving towards this planet super slow? Oh, man. I'm going to be going to sleep way or I swear to God, I keep hearing some kind of thing. Hey, thank you very much, by the way. Do you guys keep hearing some kind of animal sound or something? I don't have a pet out. Yeah, for sure, I'm hearing some kind of animal sound. Hey, thank you very much. I really wish that you could own one of these that you could put above places. I think that'd be legit. Where are you at? Oh, good. You're on your way? Good. I, does anybody know if this is a real craftable vehicle? These vehicles right here? Because if so, I need this BP. I think these look sweet. Doesn't this look like a super sweet vehicle? I mean, I can't jump up there because I'm not a good jumper. Oh. Yeah. Penaleons are super popular. I think that's everybody's favorite one because of the tail tips. That's, I mean, it, it might not be why, but. I think that, oh, you're from the Bismarck. How you doing, by the way? Hey, I really legit want to thank you very much for being an amazing viewer and absolutely all the support to the channel. This really does help a ton. I hope you freaking stay epic. Have the most amazing weekend. And, uh, well, just have an amazing weekend. I'm super excited for you guys. 
without you guys' support and viewership, really, in all honesty, it would not not be the same. It would not be as fun for me, for one. My channel wouldn't receive revenue, for two, you know what I mean? Streaming to yourself, absolutely never, ever freaking going to be fun. I mean, like, you have to do it because if you're not willing to, like, just be on the stage to be on the stage, nobody will ever be in the audience, right? But uh, reality is streaming with you guys is absolutely a million times funner than streaming without you guys, flat out. And so I very much appreciate all the support you guys give to the channel, all the absolute just epicness you guys are. Um, for my mad wife, I am literally on my way at you. Oh, wait, I missed, I missed this. Um, hey, Eva Jean, I didn't mean to miss yours. Where are you at? I got to message you. I have one of these for you. Where, where are you at? Eva G94, I didn't see you click the button. Okay, well, I'm going to message you, and I'm going to make sure you get your weapon, because I obviously have tons of weapons on me right now. I legit didn't notice the button click. Let me be back at you. I'm going to shoot you a message in just a little bit, okay? Um, by the way, thank you very much for all you guys' support. I'm going to find somebody that's doing Entropy Universe while I figure out where everybody is that has stuff coming at them. Okay, look at this. Guys, I'm trying to figure out who we go to here. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know most of these people. I'm gonna I'm gonna raid Lauren Spade. I don't know what he's doing. Let's hope he's being well behaved. It looks like he might be PvP in people for all I know. Could be being well behaved though. But I do want to thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I hope you guys stay epic. Peace and very best wishes.